So I'd like to do a video where we talk about calculating the tau function and sigma function for a number. And first I want to start with um, a prime number. So I'm going to say let p be a prime number. So tau of p is equal to 2 uh, because p has only two factors, one and itself, p. And for sigma of p, uh, it's going to be 1 plus p, because those are the two factors, 1 and p, and, and sigma means the sum. You could also write p plus 1. That, that, that's cool. Um, the next version I want to look at is um, let n be p to some power, where again, p is a prime. So for example, something like um, 2 to the third power, which is 8, or 3 to the third power, which is 27, or um, 7 to the second power, which is 49. So some numbers like that. So the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Uh, the factors of 27 are 1, 3, 9, and 27. And the factors of 49 are 1, 7, and 49. I could write all of the factors of 2 to the, eight, to the third power, all the factors of 8, as powers of 2 like 2 to the 0 power, 2 to the 1st power, 2 to the 2nd power, and 2 to the 3rd power. There's four of those factors. So tau of 2 to the 3rd power is 4. And I can see that it's 4 by looking at those 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd, and then adding one more uh, for that 2 to the 0 power. Uh, in the same way, tau of 3 to the 3rd, 27, is also 4. I could write those factors as 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1, 3 to the 2, and 3 to the 3. And with 7 squared, 49, I know there's three factors there. I can see them, uh, but I could also write them as 7 to the 0 power, 7 to the 1st power, and 7 to the 2nd power. So in general, um, tau of p to the k power really doesn't depend so much on what the prime number is, but what, on, what the exponent is. Uh, both 2 to the 3rd and 3 to the 3rd, both of those had four factors. And in fact, something, any prime number, like 19 to the 3rd power or 227 to the 3rd power uh, would have four factors because the 19 and 227 are prime. So in general, uh, tau of p to the k is going to be that power k plus 1. The factors, uh, let me see, because the factors of p to the k are 1, p, p squared, p cubed, and then it's just going to keep going until we get to p to the k. There are k of these plus one more factor. And so that's why we get k plus 1. Sigma of p to the k is going to be the sum of all of those factors. So 1 plus p plus p squared plus p cubed all the way up to plus p to the k power. I have another more efficient formula on an earlier video, but uh, we don't really need that right now. So finally, we need to look at a third example, a third case, where the number is not a prime number and not a single prime number to a power. So it's some composite number, and I'm going to write it uh, in terms of its prime factorization. So, 
to some p is a sum prime, q is some different prime to some different power. Um, maybe there's another prime s that's to some other power. Uh, what letter am I up to? Let's say t right there. Where p, q, and r are different primes. So an example might be something like, um, oh, let's say, Two thousand eight hundred eighty, or something like that. Two thousand eight hundred and eighty is two hundred and eighty-eight times ten, which is uh, one hundred and forty-four times two, which is twelve times twelve. So we get one, two, three, four, five six twos, so 2,880 is two to the sixth power, and then we get one, two, threes, and then we get one, five. So I'm gonna save some space and erase some stuff there. And hopefully remember 2,880 is 2 to the 6th power times 3 to the 2nd power times 5 to the 1st power. Okay, um, since 2 to the 6th power is relatively prime to 3 to the 2nd power, and that's relatively prime 5 to the 1st power, another way we could write this is uh, 64 times 9 times 5. All three of those are relatively prime to each other, uh, then tau of 2,880 is the same as tau of two to the sixth times tau of three squared times tau of five. Tau of two to the sixth is six plus one. Tau of three squared is two plus one, because I'm taking the exponent and adding one. Tau of five is just two because five is a prime number so I get seven times three times two which is 42. Sigma of 2880, 2880 is sigma of two to the sixth times sigma of three squared times sigma of five. Okay sigma of five is five plus one because that's the prime number, and it's those are the factors of the prime number. Sigma of three squared is one plus three plus nine. Oops, that's times. And sigma of two to the six, that was 64, so that's one plus two plus four plus eight plus 16 plus 32 plus 64. Okay, so this turns out to be 127 times 13 times 6, and that is 9,906. So that's how I can add up those uh, factors without knowing what all 42 factors are. So in general, um, where can I write this here? We do the same sort of thing uh, with each of those prime factorization parts. So I'm going to erase some stuff. And say that tau of n is k plus 1 times r plus 1 times t plus 1. And sigma of n is going to be 1 plus p plus p squared all the way up to p to the k power times 1 plus q plus q squared plus all the way up to q to the r power times the same thing with s. 1 plus s plus s squared all the way up to that last power for s. So if 
n had more than three prime factors uh, in its prime factorization, we would do more of these things. If it had fewer, we would do fewer of them. But that's how this works.